Hello and welcome to episode eight of Figuring It Out. I'm Gaynalyn Condi. I'm so grateful to be sharing this message with you. My hair's feeling a little crazy today. Sorry. Um, I hope from the title that you are coming to this video with an open heart. We all have been in positions where we have been hurt. We have been the victim of maybe trauma, of betrayal, of some really painful experiences. And then as mortals, we have little things that offend us, that trigger us every single day. And so this subject of forgiveness sounds easy, but it's much more challenging when you're trying to be a forgiving person. And I think when I am struggling the most, I think of my Savior and how he was the recipient of some very hurtful and painful experiences, betrayals, and being let down by friends that he trusted, culminating with the crucifixion. And that's when I draw on his grace to help me when I find myself with hurt and hardened hearts. So first and foremost, I want to invite you to consider what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is about ex establishing boundaries. And what I mean by that is boundaries allow us to stay in a loving place. And it means that we don't necessarily give 100% access to the person that we have forgiven. If we are working through a forgiveness process and and they they have hurt us in some ways and we've had to shift our boundaries so that they don't have as much access to our lives, that doesn't mean you're not in forgiveness. Sometimes we think forgiveness is full access. Forgiveness is um, letting go of the trigger and working towards that, even if it's not a one-time process. It's not about going back and fixing what went wrong because we can't do that. It's about giving yourself the gift of the freedom when you are in their presence or when you hear their name. And I don't know about you, but sometimes that's really hard. It's easier said than done. Forgiveness is um, a process where triggers can be your teachers to show you where you need to work on forgiveness more further, especially as we go into the holidays. It's easy to be triggered. We're in family gatherings with situations and relationships that may have history that may be hurtful. Forgiveness is not saying what happened is okay. It's not a one-time process. It's a process of like the onion we peel over the layers and we think we get it figured out. We go to therapy, we, we have conversations, we journal, we pray, we fast, and then something happens and we're right back there where we're being triggered again. Triggers are teachers because they teach us where we still need to do some work. Forgiveness isn't easy. Uh, Gandhi said forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. So if you are in the process of working through some forgiveness, just know you're strong. You're stronger than you think. And that it doesn't mean necessarily that we're, we're jumping back into a relationship or access, like I said earlier. It's about saying that I'm going to do my work. I'm going to get the help I need to work through this so the charge isn't there. So I'm free. It's not just a gift you give others. It's a gift you give yourself. I wrote a book called I Can Forgive with God, and it's filled with essays and stories of people that have had to work through forgiveness at really deep and personal levels. I'd invite you to pick that up if you, if you need some inspiration, because sometimes we need to see stories of forgiveness to help access that part of our heart. I think Corey Ten Boom of The Hiding Place is one of my great examples of forgiveness and a story that she shares is that if you know the story of the hiding place, her and her sister were victims of the Holocaust and in a concentration camp. Many years later, Corey found herself in the presence of one of these of Hitler's guards of these concentration camps she had been in. And she had to pray and plead with God to give her the grace to offer forgiveness. And she knew in that moment that it was a gift from God. So these are three tools I would invite you to consider. If you find yourself in a position where you're being held hostage by painful experiences or anger or hurt or betrayal or trauma. One, I'm a fan of therapy. 
I know that therapists can often give us that objective perspective or the tools we need so that we can work through the pain. You have to give voice to the pain to move forward to the forgiveness. Number two, I really believe in the idea of writing letters or, or having the conversations that maybe we don't get to have. You write the letter you don't send. You don't text or tweet or email in your pain and anger, but you maybe put down on paper all that you wish you could say that you're not able to say. And then number three, I would say prayer and fasting. Praying in a way that pleads with God to help you see the other person as he sees them. Or you plead with God with all the pain of your heart so that through the atonement of Christ, that pain can be transformed. You pray like the brother of Jared was invited by God to do, which is crying to God with all of your heart. I know that this is, is sometimes easier said than done. And on these episodes of figuring it out, I really try to make them tight and concise so that you will share them with your friends and family. We're all in the process of figuring things out. At the time of this taping, it's election day. I don't know from today to when you watch this what will transpire in the world, but I know that just today on election day, there has been so much pain and anger expressed during this political season. I know there's been relationships that have been hurt. Is it possible that for this Christmas season, we can give the gift of forgiveness not only to someone, but to ourselves? If you ever find yourself in a position where you need that forgiveness, that's going to be part two of this. Um, the next episode will be um, episode seven is on, on giving forgiveness, but episode eight is on receiving that forgiveness from others. And if you've been in the position where you've been the one to cause the pain and the hurt, you know how important it is to receive that gift and and what a tender mercy we all have in receiving the gift of forgiveness, not based on our merits, but on the merits of Christ, who forgives us for all that we've done wrong. Episode seven of forgiveness may be the most personal of the messages I share with you because I too have wrestled with forgiving. And right now I'm in the middle of a wrestle to forgive some hurt. I can feel my heart has walled off and I'm trying to take down the bricks around that of that wall around my heart so that I'm way more readily feel of God's love in my life. And I've had to give myself permission to feel the feelings of hurt, not just skip over that, but pray for a tender heart means that the pain needs to come out. And so I invite you to give permission to yourself to feel that pain, but don't get stuck in the process. Sometimes we feel the pain and we sit down in the mud and we play in the mud and we build a home in the mud and, and the mud is, is the pain and it's part of the process. And like with a lotus flower, it allows some beautiful things to grow, but I invite you and myself to keep moving through that. And then if you feel like you've done everything, you've gone to therapy, you've prayed, you've fasted, you've written letters, you've written journals, you've talked to friends, you think you've figured it out. And then here you are in the holidays and you're around the person that's hurt you and they trigger you. That's your teacher. That's your invitation to go back and see where do you feel vulnerable? Why is that trigger coming up for you? Is it that you feel unsafe? Is it that you feel uncertain? Is it that you feel not enough? Those are feelings that we all experience. But I've come to understand that if we keep taking those hurts and those triggers to Christ, he can show us a better way. I testify that is true. And I hope you feel, especially in this holiday season, of the spirit of forgiveness for our families and our country and our world need forgiveness more than ever before at any other time. And I hope here at Onward Productions in this series, you have found tools to help you as you continue to figure things out. And we'll see you on episode eight as we talk more about forgiveness during this holiday season.